Hello. Today I'm going to talk about the problem of the location of the camera on the 350QX. This machine is clearly made for aerial photography and, and to hold a camera. And you can find out of the box this gimbal with these rubbers uh, on the 350QX. It's a pretty good gimbal. It avoids any uh, jello effect. Um, but um, I'm wondering if uh, the location of this gimbal is the best place for, uh, for this uh, bird. My concern is more about adding a lot of weight on it, especially if you want to add a brushless gimbal, if you want to add a video uh, transmitter for first person view, uh, if you want to add anything else than uh, this um, GoPro camera. So, um, first to know how to find uh, the best place uh, to add any weight on this and second to make sure that these motors can handle more weight. On the website of, uh, of uh, Blade and uh, in on the web usually there is no indication of how much weight this can lift. Um, some people will say, let's say, three or four hundred grams more, but actually, um, the 350QX is about 24 ounces, which is uh, 60 and uh, 680 grams, and the GoPro being uh, 75 grams with battery, and this gimbal being uh, something like uh, 40 grams. Let's say you can add uh, from the box uh, 100. 150 grams but a brushless gimbal is way heavier than that um, so let's uh, talk about the different problems first um, the the idea to lift any weight is to give each motor uh, the same amount of added weight to uh, divide equally the added weight between the four motors so there is not a motor that is working more than another one. Uh, and so all the motors can give the best of their power. When you look at this machine and you try to find the center of gravity of the machine, which is the place where all the motors would give the same amount of power, you will easily find that this center of gravity is located Let's do this little experiment in front of your eyes. Okay, I did this. You take these motors. Okay, and let's find. And the center of gravity is right there. This is the place where the balance is perfect. And this is also where a uh, blade decided to put and to stick its little label so the label is the center of gravity so there is this line and this line there are the lines of the center of gravity if I do this this should be balanced and this is balanced and if I do this it should be balanced let's look here is let's say my GoPro a GoPro is 75 grams so I put about 75 grams of coins okay it's like 77 let's say it's the weight of a GoPro and I put it here in the gimbal okay and now it's here let's try the center of gravity and this is not working why? Because the center of gravity, when I add some weight at the front, is way more in the front. Let's say it's here. So that's a problem. That means that because of this difference between the real center of gravity and the actual center of gravity, these motors will have to give lot way more power than these motors. So they probably will fail way before these motors okay but who cares it's only about 100 grams and this motor might be able to lift more than 100 grams but how much more 
on the Horizon website there is no specification for these motors and uh, on the web there is no specification so I try to do my little math and let's try to find how much weight this uh, 350QX could lift we know that these motors are 1100 uh, run per minute and per volt there is uh, they are functioning on 12 volts that means that they can they can probably um, work at something like 1200 and uh, um, 12,800 uh, run per minute we know that they are working on 3S LiPo batteries which are on 11.6 to 12.6 volts and we know that uh, the running time, the flying time with these batteries are usually between 13 and 15 minutes let's say 15 minutes and these batteries are 2200 uh, milli ampere by hour okay so you know that in 15 minutes you use in one fourth of a, an hour you kill the batteries batteries who are able to give 2200 milliampere per hour so if you kill them in one fourth of the time it means that you used 8.8 .8 amperes in 15 minutes 2.2 by hour it's 8.8 .8 by 15 you know the the amperes you know the voltage you should be able to get the power you multiply 8.8 .8 by 12 and it's about a hundred a hundred watt might be the power of this machine um, if I mean of, 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 of these motors uh, if uh, I look on the web uh, for motors that are this run per minute per volt and this power or less usually they are able to lift at least 500 grams each probably this machine should be able to lift 500 grams by four motors which is two kilos um, A GoPro is 575 grams, uh, video transmitter is about 30 grams, uh, brushless gimbal is about 200 grams, uh, and cables and antenna, whatever, it's no more than 330 grams. This is what you need 330 grams, probably less than 350 grams of added weight. If you put all this weight on one motor on, or two motors, you'll probably kill the motor. Uh, but if you really divide this weight uh, on each motor and add only let's say something like 80 grams on each motor this will work perfectly with absolutely no problem and probably it won't really affect your flying time look what I've done on my 350QX. This is now the big machine. I put a gimbal, but I didn't put almost anything here. This is just the, the video transmitter, which is 30 grams or 25 grams, and a little fan. Uh, the big weight, the weight for the GoPro, and the weight for the gimbal, which is about 300 grams combined, it's here. And this is this is not the perfect center of gravity but that's really close to the center of gravity and look the difference between the two things the two machines here center of gravity is there here my center of gravity is there 
Okay, I'm gonna try to do this. So it's really easy. Okay. I'm 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 um, almost at the perfect center of gravity. That means that all the added weight that I put it's gonna be equally divided between the four motors. And I will be able to lift the bird even with this weight without any problem and without affecting too much my flight time fly, flying time. I hope this demonstration will help you to um, to modify and to improve your 350QX and I will come back uh, with another video very soon. Thank you.